These right now that we're about to unveil are your not top 10 plays of 2015. Ironically, they were cut by our producer, Jack. Let's enjoy Shocking. These. Shocking. Here we go. Number 10, guys. We got to go back May 19th in San Francisco. Brandon Belt, fly ball to left. Kike Hernandez. Uh, oh, gosh. What, what, what happened was he, he lost it in the moon, I, I, I think. Mm -hmm. Have you had that happen to you before? It, it, it has happened before. You lose them. Remember, the moon, guys, the moon is white, yeah, and it's just bright. like the baseball. Mm -hmm. So it happens even in the show. Seagulls. A lot of seagulls floating around that place. <laughs> Number nine, June 12th in San Diego. Will Myers hits a pop-up. Yimi Garcia is there. we got a collection of guys running Somebody in. call for it. Somebody call for it. Somebody and call for it. No, not so much. Yeah, here, Yimi Garcia, you got to learn that, you know what, get out of the way of the big leaguers right there. JT had a beat on it, but Mr. Garcia was in the way. And it went from bad to worse because uh, the very next pitch, Derek Norris hits a two-run bomb off Yimi Garcia, and the expression says it all. A couple of Poor bad Yimi. ones. Number eight, June 30th in Arizona, 2-2 count to Howie Kendrick, and you know, he thinks that pitch was so bad it was worth two more balls. And he's walking. Well, really, this is not really bad thing. This is a veteran move right there, trying to get on base. Notice we're down a run right there. He's seeing you kind of get one over by the umpire. You know what? Great effort by the veter veteran, Howie Kendrick. Hey, once in a while, you got to make sure they can count the four. <laughs> Actually, they would count the three because he struck out, unfortunately. Number seven, August the 4th in Philadelphia. Come Whoa, in. Alex Wood. You know, he's got the herky jerky delivery. And that one, well, he didn't even make that to foul territory. Yeah, you know, there's a great movie, Bull Durham. Have you guys ever watched that movie? Yeah, I've seen Remember it a couple it? times. Crash Davis said, you got to make sure you hold it like an egg. Mm -hmm. I think he did that and slipped out of his hand. Fortunately for the Dodgers, that run didn't count. That scored because it was ruled a balk because the ball didn't make it into foul territory. It was actually it was a good thing, I guess, in a way. Umpires got it right. <laughs> Number six, plenty of bad moments from spring training because that's what spring training is for, is to uh, get better. Chris Heisey, yee, came up a little short. I think he was trying not to get run over by Carl Crawford there, though. The all-time Arizona high sky. Speaking of high sky, here you go. Carl Crawford down the left field line. High sky, lost it in the moon. What happened? <laughs> it, it happens. You remember, guys, remember, you get to spring training, you want to work on things. You want to work on your flexibility. You want to work on your strength and, I guess, work you, on And you don't want to peak ball. too soon. I mean, you want to be able to have, leave some room for improvement, right? Yeah, it, it happens, John, even in the show. It does. Carl Crawford, he'd get better, though. Number five. Our broadcast team suited up for the old-timers game, May 16th. Nomar at the plate. He's still got it. Jay Hare, what is that? Well, here's the oh. thing, remember. Remember, Nomar's my teammate as well. you got to let the ball go, allow him to get a hit. Yeah, team Tommy gave the hook to Oral. Now we're going to have a pop button, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel fine. I feel fine. I feel fine. Here's the ball. All right. <laughs> we have to use the beat machine even in an old-timers game for Tommy. <laughs> That is just great. Chan Ho Park replacing Oral. Number four, look at this in batting practice. This woman is just having a good time eating her nachos, and all of a sudden, a ball, home run ball, splashes down. Cheese everywhere. You know what, John? This reminds me during BP, I would launch pretty regularly, and the fans <laughs> would have to always keep an eye on me. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they still have to do that in the show. Jack wrote, sometimes it's just nacho day. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. One thing we learned this year, Kike Hernandez, he loves bananas, but you know, it also explained this. Watch this. Slipped on the banana peel. How did it get out there in the outfield? Is that gonna fall for the banana in the outfield? I guess he did fall he the, did. for the banana. And then in the he outfield. fell for it at the plate as well. Great video. Against the Rollis Chapman, I like the sound effects. It's always good. Love the hat. Yeah, I love the the bat, you know, I guess flying through the zone and the helmet flying off. Yeah, and he says that box was so slippery. Because the banana got to clean up after himself. Number or number two, August 16th against Cincinnati, foul ball. Javier, the ball boy, going for it, and oh no, that's Javi. a spill over the wall. You know, you got to give him a little little something for the effort, oh, don't you? Oh yeah. Guys, let me tell you something. The guys in the clubhouse let him have it the rest of the year. Javi, you love the effort right there. I give him a two for the landing. <laughs> Didn't quite stick it, but hey, he's number two on our list. If that's worth something. A little embarrassed. We get it. A lot of embarrassed. <laughs> Number one, Adrian Gonzalez had some bad luck with foul balls this year. June 23rd in Wrigley, remember this? A man holding his baby, feeding his baby, bare hands it. 
pretty good. I don't think this qualifies as a not top ten no, because remember this is a great grab, but really wait. good grab. Okay, well, it's just leading up to to a little bit more because yeah, that was a great catch in Chicago. But September 14th against the Rockies, a Red Sox fan. At least he's wearing a Red Sox hat at Dodger Stadium trying to wrestle a ball away from Adrian Gonzalez. That I don't know is. what's going on there, but Don Mattingly weighed in on the situation moments later. I couldn't tell exactly what happened, but I knew everybody was pretty rough on him and we got the out so I, I didn't did, was he a Dodger guy did he have a Dodger hat he had some kind of hat oh <laughs> get rid of him glad they threw him out <laughs> oh that was great stuff there at Dodger Stadium